How's it going everyone? This is going to be a really quick overview of my Ares 1 prototype recumbent electric trike. So I've been working on this one for about a little over three weeks now and this is going to be its last couple days before I rip this one apart and start making it to the next one. This one's all a wood frame for now so it's going to need to be reconstructed completely out of metal. So I'll just go over some of the basic stuff. Got a nice little LED strip on the bumpers. Got some good headlights on here. They've got nice little blue halos to them. So, yeah. Got another headlight on top. Um, that's got 20 inch BMX wheels on the front of it. And it uses tank steering. So this one pulls back and this one goes to the front to go to the right and vice versa to go to the left. It's got a wireless phone charger with like a electric clamp on it. And these are the switches for the lights. So the red one is for the halos. And then the green one, which for some reason doesn't seem to be working right now, is normally for the headlights. And then that's how it turns on and turns off. Uh, it left it sitting there for a little too long, so it turned off. But if I turn it on again, it'll say welcome. Thumbs up the screen, tells me voltage at the top there, miles on it, miles per hour, um, and then this is how you select through the different power modes as far as like pedal assist and the throttle settings and all that. So, and then normal throttle, brake, this is where the battery sits, there's also a couple additional batteries in there, and a USB pack that powers all the lights, there's lights underneath it, that's where the computer is for the hub motor, we got Boston acoustic speakers in the front, and in the back, and I also have a little Bluetooth one there just for now because those use a LiPo battery and mine are at home charging, so I don't want to use them. Um, for now, the drivetrain's not permanently set up and it doesn't really do anything, but I just have some pipe that's running through. And then it links all the way back, relays onto the chain or the uh, sprocket, and then connects back to the actual hub motor. And under there, that's the amplifier for the speakers. So and then the hub motor itself is an e-bike link, a 1200 watt motor that I can limit to 750 so it's legal with Boulder County city limits. Um, it works really well, haven't really had any issues with it. There's a couple things that I messed up, but it's not the motor's fault at all. Um, I kinked one of the wires for the relay connector so I had to get that replaced. Um, and I put a disc brake on there and I need to wait till the adapter shows up so I can actually put the brake clamp on it. So right now it's still running off of V-brakes and like this thing plows through V-brakes like it's nothing. So those have to get changed like once a week. Um, I had this set up as a normal e-bike prior to this. So it was definitely time to get a disc brake and just get rid of the V-brakes because they don't work great at all. So that's about it for now. The next time that I'll post a video about this will probably be once it's completely rebuilt out of metal. So I hope you liked it. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and thanks for checking it out.